Hi, I'm Nick with the Data and Demographics team in the Planning Department for the City of Austin. And today I'm going to be showing how to find census data using data.census.gov. So once you navigate to the data.census.gov page, you'll see a search bar, and then you'll also see some other options below the search bar. Um, typically, you'll want to start with advanced search because it lets you get filters for things like geographies, years, and subjects. So if we click advanced search, you'll see the first filter is for geography. So there are a few options here. Um, you have counties, you have things like zip code tabulation areas, which are the census um, equivalent of zip codes. Uh, you have smaller geographies like census tracts and blocks, and you also have larger geographies like metro areas. So for our example, we'll start by finding data for the city of Austin, which is a place geography. So if we click on place, you'll see that it lets you search for places within states. So we'll want to find places within Texas to start. So we can type Texas. And then you can see a list of all of the, the place geographies in Texas. So we'll want to find Austin. Here it is, Austin City, Texas. So we'll check this box and click search. So you can see on the left that our geography filter is applied in this blue box. And by just searching for a geography, we get a list of tables generated by default. And we also get some basic summary statistics. Like for example, this is showing the 2020 decennial census population count. Um, but let's say we wanted to find data on race and ethnicity. So there's a couple of ways we can do this. If we know which American Community Survey or ACS table contains the data we want, we can type the name of that table into the search bar. So you can see one table here from the ACS is DP05. Um, the DP stands for demographic profile. Um, this one contains demographic and housing estimates, which will contain race and ethnicity data. Um, these demographic profile or DP tables tend to contain a lot of information. Um, there's DP02 through DP05, and they contain everything from race data to income data, um, housing unit data, income data. So they're a good place to start if you're looking for um, just some general demographic data. So for this example, let's say that we know DP05 is the table we want. So we can type that into the search bar, DP05. And here it is. So if we click this table, uh, we'll see a list of the variables in this table. So we have population by age. We have race data. And we have voting age population, so population 18 and over. So you can copy data directly from this table, but typically if you want to download data, um, you need to go to more tools here. And there's a few download options. Um, you can download it as an Excel file, which basically preserves this table format where the variables are in rows and the columns are the estimates, margins of error, um, sometimes they'll have more columns that calculate percentages and percentage margins of error. Uh, but for a lot of data uses, it's more useful to have the variables in the columns. So that option is typically in the zip file. So we'll download the zip file. You can see when you download, you get an option to change years, and you can also change the ACS table for certain geographies. 
So since the place geography, which contains the city of Austin, is a larger geography, it has both both five and one year estimates. Um, typically, we'll go with the one year estimates for these if they're available. Um, for smaller geographies like census tracts, only the five year estimates will be available. But in our case, we'll just get the one year estimates for the most recent year, 2022, and then download. Once you download the zip file and open it, you'll notice that inside there are three different files. The first one is column metadata, which contains information about the data file, and it also gives a list of the columns and the column IDs. The second one is the data file itself, and the third one is any additional notes for that table. So if we just want the data, we can open up our data file and you should be able to see it in Excel. Um, you'll notice that, like I mentioned earlier, this file lists the variables in each column instead of the rows like we saw on the original site view. Um, in these columns, you'll have a unique geographic ID, which is useful for mapping in GIS. You'll also have the name of the geography. In this case, we only have one geography, the city of Austin, and then you'll have columns for each variable. There's also an ID for each of these columns. So you can see DP05 is our table and 0001 is this variable for total population. And E indicates that this is an estimate. You also have columns that end with M. So these are margins of error columns and they're typically to the right of each estimate. So here's our estimate for total population, and here's the margin of error for that estimate. So now let's say you want to find data for a smaller geography like census tracts. So we'll start again from the landing page, and we'll go back to advanced search. And this time, instead of picking place, we'll select census tract. You can see again, it lets you pick tracks within other geographies or within states. So we'll want to start by finding Texas. And then it'll bring you to a list of counties within the state. So in our case, let's find tracks for Travis County. So here's a list of all of the tracks in Travis County. Um, you can either select individual tracks from this list by just clicking them on the list, or if you wanted to find data on all tracks within Travis County, you could just click this first box and it'll automatically select um, all of the tracks. So in our case, let's just stick with finding data for all of the tracks. And again, we'll press search. So again, you'll be brought to a landing page with some summary statistics. And let's just download the same table we did for the place example. So we'll go with table DP05. In this case, since we have a lot of geographies selected, you won't get a table preview because um, we have over 200 tracks and this preview window only displays um, if you have a small number of geographies. So to see our data set, we'll need to download. Here's our table that we downloaded for the tracked data. You can see that each row has a tract and the data for that tract is listed in each column. Um, similar to the last table, the column headers are the same. They contain the table, the variable, and they indicate whether these are estimates or margins of error. So you can see that all of these tracks have a unique geo ID. It also gives the name of the tract, which corresponds to this ID. And in Travis County, you can scroll down, you can see there are 292 census tracts. 
So lastly, let's say that you want to find a table subject, but you don't know the table title or the table ID. This is the data product list for the ACS. It lists all of the tables that are available in the most recent set of estimates. And you can see that it lists the table IDs, the table titles, the table universe. Um, it lists the type of table. Um, most of them are detailed tables. And it also tells you whether or not these are available in one year, five year, or both sets of estimates. It also lists geographic restrictions. For example, a lot of um, smaller geographies might be excluded from the more detailed tables. So let's say we want to look for data on health insurance. What I usually do is go to the table title column and select it. And you can do a find and replace or control F to search for a keyword. In this case, we're going to search for insurance. And if we click find all, it'll show us all of the fields in this column that contain the text insurance. So here under value, you can see all of the different tables that are available. Um, so you can see here's one on age by disability status and by health insurance coverage. You can see that there's separate tables for each race and ethnicity group for health insurance coverage. And then there's a general table on health insurance coverage status by sex and age. So let's say we want to learn about coverage by sex and age. We can click this and that'll jump to the table. So you can see it highlighted in green here, this table B27001. If we go back to data.census.gov and we type our table number into the search bar, B27001, and search. You'll see that our table changed on the filters pane, and now we're looking at health insurance coverage by sex and age, which is what we found in the data product list. In this case, you can see the data listed for all of the tracks. So if we wanted to download this, we would again just choose the zip option and open up our zip file to find the data. If you didn't want to use the census data product list, you could type keywords into the search bar. So if we wanted to type insurance and search, this is a little less reliable because it's a little harder to scroll through this list and find what you need. But you can see here it does pull up some tables for us on different categories of health insurance status, and it breaks those subgroups down by several categories. Um, the downside of this is that you usually can't see what data is contained in this table, because if we have a lot of tracks selected, our table will be too large to display on the screen. You can always download the table to check, but I find it easier to usually go through the data product list and find the table name first before trying to search by keyword in the search bar on this site. That's it for now, but feel free to reach out to me with any questions. The census site sometimes updates, so you might see these panes change slightly, um, but generally the process is the same for finding census data, whether or not the site gets updated or not.